Well, here Ruben has his hand up, letting me out no, please don't crack my back. Once enough this weekend. Day two, SSKC. Day one in the books. Had an excellent, excellent race. Uh, everybody did an amazing job. Uh, you know, had multiple top five finishes across the board for the 206 class. Uh, one shifter. Uh, tag, top five as well. Everybody was just doing an amazing race. Minis, micros, you know, the whole TB team, everybody on the TB car, amazing job. So uh, just like think that, um, Miguel had a good race yesterday in the P5. Rubens had a really good race yesterday. And I think if he would have gotten up, like up to the top, guys, he could be battling for the podium. So that's gonna be our goal is to get them a little bit closer to the top step. Gabe from White Knuckle, P3. Awesome. Chris improved all weekend. Kevin has improved all weekend. So uh, we're just going to keep building on that, keep improving. We're actually going to throw a GoPro on Kevin's car. At least how he, let's see how he's doing. Here we are for the practice, following Andrew around. We made a whole bunch of changes to the car the night prior. Uh, the guys were giving me feedback that the gra uh, track actually had grip. And to me, to me I couldn't... I couldn't fathom that because uh, every time we've been to Anderson, it's been the complete opposite. There is no grip. But they were saying they had plenty of grip. So we did some changes to the cart to loosen it up. And then we also threw a monkey wrench and everything and did a gear change. So we went on the opposite gear where everybody else was on. And it actually started working out for us. Uh, ended up P3 in practice. Not too bad. Well, practice is out of the way. And the bounty's still out. Uh, I think Colin and Dylan were top two. They're they're working really well together. And we had Rubens and Miguel uh, behind in third and fourth, but not no no really good push. Farshad, he's been killing the shifters. Kevin ran his best lap times this weekend, so we're gonna see how uh, we can do in qualifying. See if we can pull off top five parting starting positions. I'll be happy with. And Jed's been dealing with some gremlins, so they did a couple changes and hopefully this wakes everything up. Here we are on to qualifying. Now on track they swapped. It was planned for Miguel to help, you know, work with Junior and push him along. But Junior laid down such a quick, quick lap that it took too long Miguel to catch back up. So that backfired. Uh, worked on Miguel's favor on accident because he got a really good draft by Junior. Uh, it was supposed to be a swap weight and then push but on his flyer he did really well just went early on entry uh, messed up the line and then bumps junior which kills all his momentum but still was able to pull off p3 uh junior did not get so lucky at the end of p6 but overall great job on both guys three finals on the way for the senior lo206 class unbelievable this group of kids I know I can't hang with these guys. I'm not even racing, I can't even hang. Inside lane, Miguel's on the inside, Colin's on the outside. Dylan's on P1, Miguel gets a little shuffle. Miguel lets Colin slide in front of him. Rubens is right there. Now we got two really fast guys in front, Dylan and Colin. And then we got the two TV guys gonna try to chase them down. I told Miguel just sit behind. That's a lot easier said than done because I hopefully he can keep up. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. Miguel's car should come in about half where he should. After that, we're going to hope and pray. Man, those two are so fast. They already pulled three cart links from Miguel and Rubens. They're going to be doing good though. This is a perfect start, beautiful start. Coming down the front stretch, Dylan's the first, Collins the second. Miguel is looking back for some reason. So all we can do is hope and pray. I said hope and pray a couple times already in this video. Man, those two are so fast. I think Dylan, his helmet might be too big or he's going too fast because he keeps putting his head down. He keeps Helmet's pushing his helmet. He keeps pushing his head down. I mean his helmet down. Oh, this is beautiful. I love this right here. This is going to be a beautiful race. So proud of Miguel and Rubens right now. Those two have just stepped up their game a lot. 
Kevin's back there. He's doing well as well. Everybody's doing well. There you go. Tuck. Let's go. All right, on to the pre-final. Here, Dylan gets off a good start. Miguel gets a good start, and then Miguel lets uh, Colin slide right in. Uh, that was the whole plan of attack: is let those two get in front. Miguel learn as much as he could, and then basically just clean up his driving because he was having issues going to three and to four, and we were able to fix that, uh, clean that up a lot. But these two don't make mistakes up front. Junior got a really good start as well. He ended up P4. It was a really hard battle for him between him and the 123, but he was able to hold him off. Uh, right here, Mio just basically just cleans up his driving halfway through the race and able to reel back the top guys. We did do a gear change, gave us more top end. Those two guys in front had uh, one more tooth up on us, but I really thought the strategy was this was the best strategy we could just to hang with them. Here we are coming up to the last lap. Miguel has caught them. Uh, he was just sitting back there the whole time. Uh, seeing uh, This back section, due to gearing, they would pull away a little bit down the straightaway, but then we were able to reel them back in with the draft. Uh, Dylan does a great example of how to defend. Uh, just He knew Colin was on his back bumper, and Colin is a mastermind. He's a chess player, so it's very difficult. Miguel was sitting back there waiting. Dylan goes on the inside and just stays down there because if he would have moved a move back out, then we would have been considered blocking. Uh, he just took away the uh, the passing lane and just the rest of the lap, that's where he places his cart. He just made sure that he placed his cart well enough for Colin not to get around him, uh, which brought me go back into the race. But overall, excellent run. Uh, congratulations, Junior P4. Way to go for Miguel. Uh, and congratulations, Dylan, for the win and Colin for P2. Awesome job by all the drivers in the senior class. Man, Sunday's pre-finals, in the books. Couldn't be prouder than those two kids right out there. Even Kevin picked up some pace too, man. They All three of them doing a great job. Mio hung with the two quickest guys in the state of Florida. Heck, some would see him save the nation, man, you know, because everybody knows Colin Warren, stupid fast. And Dylan as well. Just stupid fast. Honestly, it's just so fast. I'm so overwhelmed and so proud of those guys. Lost for words. Extremely proud of them. So the heavy class got too excited. Yeah, too excited. They were gone, man. They were, you see Gabe's head? <laughs> they were gone before they even hit the acceleration cone. Oh yeah, they're pumped up. This heavy class is the coup de gras. I mean, you know, Xander says it way better than I do, man. He has a radio voice too. Man, and you look at him, he looks like a 12 year old kid. Oh, Xander? Yeah. I know. Stupid, it's crazy. Dude, he used to be like tiny, like my height. And then he what happened, he just grew up? Yeah, he just got a massive growth spurt. Jesus. You know, it's funny, he used to bitch a lot when he raised. Like, he would always complain to his parents because we did rentals at the time. <laughs> but we were oh, like, 10. we were like 10 or 12. But he, like, he would like complain and cry. But he grew up, so I think that's why he I'll hit that part out of the video, Xander, just for you. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. And that's why he moved out of look at him now. Look, showing the acceleration cone. There he goes, they are ready to go again. <laughs> it's funny they accelerate at the guy but they don't <laughs> it's like outside room we're gonna try this again the heavy class will be on the third restart neil is a pace setter but it looks like the outside road is punching a little early punching a little he's they're not punching a little early Okay, so the right after so many restarts, you have to they, they are allowed to penalize and swap positions. What they did is they made Neil fall back to third, 
Gabe fall back to set, uh, take the pole, and then Ruben Cherry is now on uh, the outside pole. After two failed restarts, it's, it's, it's in every right for the officials to do that. Gabe's never been on the pole for a start, so we gotta see how this goes. Oh my God. This has been a crazy weekend, guys. This is the first time Gabe's on the pole. 2020. 2020, that's all we can say. 2020 is Gabe's year. I'm about to relinquish the trophy. Man, he's got it too fast. Look, look, they keep pointing at the cone. <laughs> They're like... Wow, yay, first time on pole, he gets a good clean cut. And he got jumped. Oh, he got jumped bad. He got jumped bad. That's okay, Gabe. Work your way back up. The whole second row took off. I'm guessing Gabe forgot to hit the gas. This is his first time. We'll see what happens. I will always remember that day that when Bobby came over, that first time the Rolex race. Oh, this was no, great. we can't say that. No, it was great. <laughs> we, we just met these two guys. This is what this is what we're doing. Look at that. Lunch and break hour. Uh, chilling. We never met just chilling. <laughs> just telling stories. The next morning, and Jacob was laying next to It was Corey. funny as hell. This is the finals. It's all come down to this. It's all come down to this, man. Best of the best are here. You got Dylan, Colin, Ruben, Miguel, Zach, Jed, Ruben, Junior, every person in the class. It's all within tents. Now you understand why I race the heavy class. Oh my god. <laughs> That's why I race the heavy class. These guys are way too fast. I was wondering where my post was gonna come up. You're looking at the best heavy racer in the state. Best heavy racer in the state. He has a TV shirt on. Second Wait best. Wait a minute. I saw. Well, now. As of 2019. <laughs> oh, to 2019, the best heavy racer in the state. Okay, all my crap talking out of the way now. Yeah, I better back it up when I get back on track. I wish it could be like Colin. Humble, not say a word, you know. Calm, the ice man. Suit doesn't even get excited. Oh, I uh, I finished like, how's the card? Uh, 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 you won. Uh, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's all right. It's cool. It's just a race. Yeah. It's just a race. Whatever. Yeah, I, I wish I won that many times. Well, hopefully it's an amazing race. I can't wait to see it. I uh, hope it's like a three-card battle in the end. It's gonna be a really good race. I know that much for sure. Can't wait. Here we go. Senior finals. Senior finals lining up. Miguel's in P3. Got Dylan in front of him. Zach behind him. Colin. Let's see how he gets out of turn one. Green flag is up. Miguel lets Colin back inside in front of him again. He's gonna try to work with Colin as best he could. Oh shoot, Dylan is, Rubens is way sideways, something happened. Got shoved sideways, got shoved to the outside. We go finish out P3. Right now, let's see what he can do. Let's see if he's able to keep up with these guys. Let's go see, he really come down the front stretch. They nose to tail, Dylan, Colin, Miguel. So on to the finals. Miguel forgets to turn on the camera, but the start was just like I explained it. Uh, Dylan got out front, Miguel let Colin slide in, and then it was time to just track them down. Now leaving the pits, Colin's motor was revving up, uh, not Colin's, Dylan's motor was revving up pretty high. And just to make it a little bit harder, like if it wasn't hard enough already, the mechanic forgot to tighten down the screw cap after tech for the carb slide. So. Uh, amazing drive from Dylan because 
That Joker was wide open throttle the whole time. Colin notices there's an issue behind Dylan. So uh, right here, Mio and him are working well together. Like I said earlier, they had a little bit more than us, but Mio had cleaned up his driving, so he was able to hang better uh, going onto a front straightaway. They'll get a little pull here in a second. Uh, Colin dips out, tries to give Dylan a sign like, hey man, something's loose. Dylan's like, no, go ahead, you in front. And Miguel decides to go, go with them as well. Uh, Colin here again points down, letting Dylan know that something's up with your car, bro. Uh, here with just three laps to go, uh, Miguel's hanging on tight with Colin. Uh, there was parts of the time that I think Miguel could have made a pass, but I think he listened to me too much about two carts are faster than one. And this allowed a four cart train. So it was Colin, Miguel, uh, Dylan, and then the 123 behind Dylan. Now, the 123 was starting to get impatient. He was pushing Dylan pretty hard going into three. And Dylan already had a wide open throttle. So right here, they go into a break. I'm guessing by the looks of it, the 123 shoves Dylan into Miguel. Uh, here, Miguel gets his bumper ripped off by Dylan. It's a complete racing incident. Uh, Dylan really had no control. That guy was, I, I can't believe how well he drove with a wide open throttle. Uh, that was just enough of what Colin needed just to pull away. Uh, thanks for the whole weekend for TV Cart USA. Excellent power from CKI. Uh, Miguel with two to go, did an amazing job. He was able to pull back away from the group. Uh, he drove his ass off. Uh, Rubens Jr. drove an amazing race as well, got shoved at the beginning which just stunk because he had a fast cart. But I think this weekend uh, the TB boys made a statement uh, that they're not here to just ride around mid-pack anymore, that they're here, they have been putting in the work in the off-season, that they've been working hard on their driving, uh, we've been working hard on our tuning and we're here to race up front. Uh, it was an excellent race all weekend between all the guys. Uh, it was a really hard fought battle and you know Miguel did an amazing job just cleaning up the little lines at a track that he does not like so really hands down he might have finished second on track uh, we did take a penalty for the bumper uh, coming loose so I think he ended up eighth or ninth overall uh, Junior did an excellent run I think he ended up the top four uh, overall, excellent weekend. Can't thank everybody enough. Uh, hard driving. Uh, that senior class is no joke by far. Congratulations to the heavy winner, um, Rubens, uh, James Finch, P2, and Neil, P3. Awesome job by everybody, and I can't wait to get back on track myself. Finals in the books. That's all I got to say. <laughs> now we're going to watch Gabe. He's starting P5. He's been really fast. Let's see if he can make something happen in the finals. I'm pulling for him. I think he's fast enough to win it. I really do think so. I think the field's a little worried. He has him a little shake him up. He's going to be just fine here in the finals. I know it. White knuckle racing. Ooh, I almost busted my butt. I almost pulled Gabe. On to the finals for a senior heavy. They did a false start. I thought it looked pretty good, but I'm definitely not out there. Xander's slowing them down to a crawl. Super slow. Let's see how it goes now. Gabe's in fifth. Another good start. Gabe did not get away well. Not get away well at all. So we'll see what happens. He's down to six. Not a good start for Gabe, but he's fast enough to catch them. So let's see what happens. 